hello and I'm going to do a really quick part today two in fact all right I've got little sets of coasters here that are just fabulous they're my bargain I got three boxes full for three pounds isn't that awesome so you've not seen me for a little while I've been hiding away sorry <laughs> so today is going to be all about being quick so I'll run you through I've kept it simple I've got cerulean blue and I'm not sure what the other one is here it is Bruno Franklin's ultramarine blue so it's Bruno Franklin as well for the cerulean blue I've got Colvin and Co white titanium and in with the ultramarine blue I've got a little bit of Talon craft paint just to deepen the colour all of these are mixed two part paint and one part glass medium which is Artist Acrylic by Windsor and Newton. See, I've had some funny reactions and I'm not sure if it's pouring medium. So there's no glue in this mix and just pouring medium and paint and water. So we're going to see. I'll show you really quickly what I mean by funny results with the pouring medium. Now, I've used all of these paints before with... Um, with Liquitex powering medium. You see I have a, a kind of pocked looking piece. Not sure why I'm okay with that because I'll be resining these pieces anyway. So that's either the gold that I've put in there or it's just the white. So we're going to see when these ones dry if they're, they're speckled like that and then I know it is the pouring medium that's just not liking this white paint. We will see. Um, so I'm going to do four of these with a, a little spout pour. I'll put on some white and pour around lovely blues. Then on this side each one's going to be an individual flip cup drag with a little white negative space. So there'll be silicon in these ones and no silicon in these ones. Just grab some gloves. All I'll start out by doing is putting some white in the little centre corners here. See this white's looking way nicer than yesterday. So I'm presuming my speckled paint is going to be the metallic that I put in there. I often add gold to my cream, uh, to my white to give me a little cream colour and I picked up the wrong one. And it was a different metallic y goldy colour that I put in there. So maybe that reacted. Lovely. <laughs> I forgot I was being quick. And I'll do the same in these outer corners just to give myself less to move the paint, less space to cover. I think it might retain its nice rounded shape, like it has done on this set of four. It was the same thing, so hopefully we'll get something like that. There's no silicon in that of four. It was the same thing, so hopefully we'll get something like that. There's no silicon in there either, and um, it's made beautiful natural cells, albeit with speckles. I think the resin is going to be very forgiving when I put a top coat on those and disguise it. If not, it's quite a nice effect anyway. Just like to know in my head what's making what do what with the paints. So I'll begin to build my little cup. Start with a good amount of the white. Cerulean blue, a little bit of white, and then the ultramarine. Ooh, that is runnier. Good glug of that. 
Wow, I like it. Plop more of that. Might have to add a little bit more water in that for the next one. Then just a little bit more. Oh, it looks really pretty. Okay, so I have my cup. I have loads of paint there. So I'm going to give it a one stir with none of them. Ooh, I have a drawer full of stirs. I think it. Mm, I'll leave it alone. There we are. I'm not sure where you can see. So I'll just turn it around a little bit. Oh, hmm, I want to put more white on top. I don't want. So it's just going to be a quick pour. See what happens. There's a lot of paint escaping here. So that was nice and straightforward. These just want gentle tilting. That is it. A little torch. <laughs> I guess I'll get my little cup back and catch any drips in case I should want them. It's not the best idea to have these here, is it? I hate gloves. Brr. Didn't have gloves on yesterday and it was so much easier to just prod the paint and not make a mess. I'm thinking it was the metallic colour causing me problems because this white seems to be behaving fairly nicely. Huber bubbles. Right, so just one bit to go, just right here. A little bit more, just bringing my pattern back now. Ooh, it's looking good. Someone's dog's having a right yap, aren't they? I don't think it's about midnight. <laughs> wow, look at that beauty! <laughs> ah. So I'm going to do this one because I think it's got the least paint on. I think it'll need quite a lot of work to make beautiful. So... Just going to bring in my white up to this paint and then this one 
take it right up just to help the paint that's there move Definitely not a generous amount of paint on this one. We're going to have to do something to get paint over that area. Nothing like the other one, so I'm going to have to really tilt it as well. I did say this one would be the hardest to cover, didn't I? And I was quite right there. Come on, down you go. Sending it back the opposite direction now just to try and round out that white area. So, just the other two. A bit more white just to help this paint move. This one's going to be really easy to do. Ah. Might not be easy to pick up, but... already fairly nicely covered so I'll just in fact it's going to be quite similar to that one so I'll just move it around a little bit Ooh, this one's actually moving beautifully a lot there and it's none of it's in my little jar is it spread this back a little bit more just to let these inner colours open up a little bit. There we are. And now to try and pop it back. Last one. So I have a little bit of paint in here now, which I'm just going to add on. Okay, putting a bit more white just here.
Ooh. <laughs> Nearly dropped it. Right. So final one. Oh, I've got a right blue fingerprint on that one that I'll have to take care of. Okay. This is a nice one. Ooh, I took it too far there and I wasn't concentrating at all lost my whiteness up here. I'll just bring it back. I know you can't see that but <sighs> there we are. That's bothering me now. up the lovely edge there there we go just thinking this area doesn't need to be here oh not over my work girl <laughs> should we see what the heat uh blow torch does Right, <laughs> and blue. So, I think they went beautifully. And I think some lovely things are going to happen now when I stick the blow torch on them. I really can't see me. <laughs> see, I'm not very talkative at the moment, am I? I will work on talking more. I'm just been a long day out here. I sorted out all of my moulds, all of my resin, all of my clay. Really got myself sorted. I've gone through all the half finished things that never get done and I actually started sanding off pieces of resin to finish. So go me. I'll bring in the blowtorch now. Oh, and I found a big broom. So we'll just have to pause right there. It's stone cold, though, mind you. Right. So, oh. I'll just shift that because it's quite close. Happening. These ones will sell. This area will sell. This one is just not doing it. Hmm. So I'm going to move this to one side where it can't touch anything. And I will grab the heat gun. I haven't got my mask on, have I? That's because I've had it on all day sanding resin. No excuse, wear your mask.
plenty of it. Oh, I've not put my silicone in. My phone's overheating because it's right up near the spotlights. I can't win in this situation at all, but I try and I will get there eventually. So while the camera was off, all I did was add some of a build all purpose silicon, which I dispensed into a little cup and I poured four or five drops into each little last bit of paint. Because once again, I forgot to add it. So now I get to just put a little bit more paint in to make sure they've all got some silicon in them. So this is way more paint than I would put in the cups normally for um, a flip cup drag. However, I realised after I started talking to you all that I actually intended to do an open tube drag. I had a perfect little tube sat here as well. And I was going to do it around all four pieces and just so be it whatever fell through the gaps. But somewhere along the line I changed my mind and decided that wasn't what I wanted to do and told you I was going to do... <laughs> set up the four cups anyway for the flip cup drag. But now I'm thinking... There's that much colour in these. I might as well just flip the little cups. Mm. Tough look for negative space this time. I don't know. So that's them all had two, um, so it goes white, cerulean, ultramarine. And then cerulean ultramarine on top both with the silicon in them i'm going to pop a little bit of white messily into these now all i'm going to do is put a little bit on my corners i will begin and then i flip it look how disgusting they are from all, me pouring on them yesterday I'll give this cup a twist and it can just sit happily. I'll let some of the paint out there deliberately. Now you can see, we'll try again. See if anything amazing is happening in here. Going to see if I can get any white splatters. Now I should really take my thingy through. Just so I don't end up with the white splotches. I'm going to end up a terrific shade of blue because I don't have my gloves on do I? <laughs> But this is coming along nicely. I'm forgetting I'm not showing above me. I'm just showing you. Oh, we've lost lots of paint off this edge. I'm not very level, am I? Oh, man. What can you do? Lost a little bit, but I am leaning on the surface. That might be what's doing it. So my next one, next closest to you. I'm just going to 
Budge this one a second. Ooh, this one's going to have some loveliness. But this one's almost done now. How awesome is that? It matches the other one quite nicely, so I'll stick it out of the way again. I'm making a right mucky mess, aren't I? But it's cool. So I'm taking my streaks round this time. That's pretty groovy as well. So we'll just plonk this here. The set are all matching each other quite nicely so far. It's a gorgeous bit here that I'm just going to see if I can scoop up and use. Final one. So all these three sides covered beautifully. There's just this little bit here to go. So I'm going to whiz that through the white. Because the white's really thickened up. It's warm in here. I've had the fire on for a long time because I was going to do resin today. But I changed my mind somewhere along the line. I had a lot of stuff to sand and resin to prep before I make new items. Right, we are done. There we are. It's good. Pretty. I'll bring the blowtorch onto them for a second. I am blue. <laughs> See where the paint's actually come off my hands. That's an amazing shade of blue. My dad. <laughs> I'm going to regret that all week. Turn that off. And I'll bring you down for a little look. Thank you everyone for joining me. I've got blue. Next time I will wear gloves because... I hope you've learnt something new. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the little bell next to my channel if you want to receive notifications. It's next to the subscribe button. It's a little bell that needs to have two little tick marks either side of it. And that's when you'll be notified. There's the first lot. They are quite beautiful. Some lovely areas on them. And then we have the second ones. I love these. I love the simplicity and the little baby cells that have sprung up. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at these gorgeous ribbons of colour. Hope you like them. I'll show you a catch-up when they're dry.